Good evening and a warm welcome. I'm Rahul Kamul. You're watching India Today on a day when an India Today investigation, the Hurriyat Truth Tape, set the national news agenda. The National Investigation Agency carrying out 22 simultaneous raids in Delhi and Srinagar. All the Hurriyat terrorists exposed in this big India Today expose being raided. A national investigation agency telling India today that arrests are likely very soon. This is the gold standard of journalism, the channel that is setting India's news impact. Sit back and watch as I get you all the developments on the story that's dominating the headlines, not just on India today, but across every single news network. It started early in the morning when the NIA started carrying out raids in multiple locations in Srinagar. After that, there were raids in Delhi from last night itself. NIA teams had been active on the ground. Remember, this is a story India today has been doggedly pursuing for the last three weeks now. Our reporters have been assaulted, attacked by Hurriyat leaders despite all the intimidation, the attempts to browbeat and intimidate us India today has stood its ground, relentlessly tracking the story, even accosting Hurriyat leaders during press conferences, chasing them when they came for interrogation, going into the heart of Srinagar, interviewing them, ensuring that they were held accountable. Remember, the characters we've exposed are characters who've been on the loose for many years. Bitta Karate, for example, exposed by Newstrack in the 90s as having admitted that he'd killed more than 20 Kashmiri Pandits, the same man talking in this India Today investigation about burning Kashmir even now. Their time is running out because the National Investigation Agency is nailing them and nailing them for good. Sit back and watch this big India Today impact on the Hurriyat truth tapes. This agenda setting special investigation rocked the nation. Not just for the chilling confessions made by India's traitors, but also for the high impact resonance it found. First, India's highest investigative agency took the crucial Hurriyat terror tapes from India today. Then, government applauded India today for a sensitive and daring expose. Next, NIA started its crackdown on the stung park proxies. The threats, the assault notwithstanding, India today pressed ahead and today in a monumental India today impact NIA raids across 22 locations in Kashmir Delhi and Haryana led to critical seizures over 1 crore rupees in cash letterheads of banned terror outfits like the LET and Hezbollah Mujahideen and incriminating property documents were seized and in a massive blow to India's traitors, NIA has booked all three Hurriyat leaders exposed by India today. And has not spared even their overlord, Hafiz Saeed. But that did not quench us. We kept up our fight to pose questions that matter to those who matter. These specific individuals, Naeem Khan, Bitta Karate, Javed Ahmed, Elias, uh, uh, Ghazi Baba as well. I have got the information that uh, these raids they have been conducted on at uh, funding places. This government is not to, uh, going to compromise on such issues. We will strictly deal with it. If they do any fault, they shall be taken to task. This is the most high impact investigation ever. Real investigation real impact. India today's hallmark. 
with Shuja Ulhak in Srinagar, Ashutosh Mishra, Puneet Kumar and Kamaljeet Sandhu in New Delhi. Bureau Report, India Today. Home Minister Rajnath Singh did a detailed press conference in the capital today. India Today reporters questioned him about the action taken by the National Investigation Agency. The Home Minister spelled out how the Modi government intends to pursue the case against these Hurriyat terrorists. FIR Darjua India Today or Ajtak investigation ke baad well kuch, kuch logo ko uh, question bhi kya gaya tha is maamle mein bitta karate jin pe sting hua bhi tha aage ki kya karwai hogi in logo ke khilaf at least there is video evidence against these specific individuals Naeem Khan, Bitta Karate, Javed Ahmed alias uh, uh, Ghazi Baba as well uh, so just, just related to that I have said earlier that this is the maamle ki jaj kar rahi hai जानकारी मिलेगी सब पूजा शाली क्योंकि हम लोग उस बहुत हस्तक्षेप नहीं करते इस मामलों में कोई ऑटोनोमस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है तो उसकी ऑटोनोमी पर सर उसको डाइल्यूट करने की हम कोशिश नहीं करते कभी सर क्या गवर्नमेंट यूज करेगी इस एविडेंस को प्रोबेबली टू एक्सपोज पाकिस्तान एट एन इंटरनेशनल लेवल बिकॉज इफ द सेपरेटिस्ट लीडरशिप इज अलाउड टू ऑलरेडी एक्सपोज है जो एक्सपोज है उसको एक्सपोज करने की क्या जरूरत है जो पड़ेगी तो फिर करेंगे वो ऑलरेडी एक्सपोज है आप नहीं देख रहे हैं सारी इंटरनेशनल कम्युनिटी टेररिज्म के सवाल पर ऑनबोर्ड हो रही है I want to go across now live to our correspondents who are joining us on this story. Kamaljeet Sandhu is joining us from the headquarters of the National Investigation Agency. With us also at this time is Ashutosh Mishra. He's tracking the multiple raids that the NIA has carried out in different parts of Delhi, especially in the Bali Maran, Old Delhi area. Suja Ulhak is joining us from the Srinagar headquarters of the Hurriyat Conference. I want to go across to Kamaljeet Sandhu first. Remember, she's the reporter who was attacked by... Yasin Malik, a man on camera having admitted killing Indian Air Force soldiers. He attacked Kamaljeet Sandhu. She stood her ground. And now the NIA Kamaljeet taking this unprecedented action. Never before after an expose by any channel has the investigation agency. And India's premier anti-terror agency moved as quickly as the NIA has. Tell me what's happening next. How soon are Bitta Karate Naeem Khan, Ghazi Baba, Sayyid Ali Shah Gilani likely to be arrested? It's a big India Today impact with the NIA finally registering an FIR and obviously raiding 22 places. That includes places in Srinagar, in Delhi and in Sonipat, Haryana. Yes, we are expecting certain action and remember these raids have been conducted. What has been recovered is 1.15 crore rupees. Documents, letterheads of Hezbul Mujahideen, lashkar e taiba uh, There are actually links which have been established with businessmen. This is the Hawala route which will be investigated. Uh, we've been talking to our sources within the NIA. They are clearly saying uh, there is enough evidence to nail some of the Hurriyat leaders. Uh, the, some of them, obviously three of them, been caught on the India Today sting itself. Uh, but an imminent arrest may not be an action that they are likely to follow. But yes, once they have solid grounds, they will catch the big fish, as they say. Okay, Ashutosh Mishra, give our viewers a sense of the locations. You were in Srinagar many days tracking the story. Give us a sense of who are the people who've been raided, their significance and also your sense of what the NI has been able to recover in the raid so far. Well, Rahul, the raids have been conducted at 22 different places. That includes National Capital, Srinagar and uh, Haryana Sonipat. So 22 locations. That also includes uh, Naeem Khan, the Hurriyat leader, Bitta Karate and Baba Ghazi. These three leaders, those who were caught on camera, that were exposed by India today in Operation Hurriyat, where they admitted the fact that, yes, they take money from Pakistan to, bur to, you know, to fuel unrest in Kashmir. Other than these th three separatist leaders, Two very important businessmen from Kashmir, Kashmiri businessmen, their places also have been raided, uh, not only here in Delhi's Bali Maran, but also in Sonipat. And what we are hearing from sources, then 1.25 crore so far has been seized by the investigative agency. At the same time, some crucial documents to link that money trail that is coming from Pakistan and reaching to Srinagar to... To, to establish that sufficient evidence that has been collected and seized by NIA in these uh, searches. At the same time, 
Hijbul Mujahideen and Lashkar's pamphlet, you know, their letterhead, that has also been read. We are hearing from NIA sources at two different locations during the raid. So certainly the NIA has successfully able to gather very strong evidence. And as you were rightly pointing out, that sooner or later these leaders will be behind the bars. But also we have to see, Rahul, very interestingly, then when NIA is going to question Sayyid Ali Shah Gilani, because if you remember, he is the person, these, you know, the Hurriyat leader, Dubar Scott and Camera admitted that yes, Gilani is getting his share of fund from Pakistan. So soon he will be questioned because the you know Gil, uh, Hur, uh, Hurriyat faction led by Gilani that has been also named in this FIR by NIA. Okay, I want to go we across now to Suja Aulak. He's joining us from Srinagar. Suja, what's been the reaction in Srinagar to this big today. India Today expose? Now the National Investigation Agency sweeping into action, multiple raids across the city. Who are the people in Srinagar who have been raided? I'm told, I've been receiving calls from Srinagar people telling me these are prominent businessmen supposed to be in, amongst the most significant financiers of the Hurriyat conference and this game has been going on for a very long while before this India Today expose smashed it once and forever and brought it out into the open. Well, Rahul, the day started with a surprise for most people in the valley. Uh, you know, NIA teams which were divided, uh, you know, it was a 30-member team uh, which were divided in several, uh, uh, you know, uh, parts, uh, carried out uh, raids at various locations. Uh, and it was almost a simultaneous operation uh, that was uh, carried out. Uh, uh, you know, like you were pointing out, some of the businessmen uh, were raided. Uh, we, uh, we saw, uh, you know, uh, some of the businessmen's houses uh, who are uh, known, uh, you know, traders, some of them working in real estate and had some suspicion uh, already about their activities were raided. Uh, what, they, what the NIA was looking out uh, in their houses is documents, is uh, uh, paper trails, pen drives, laptops, which can establish money trail. Basically, that was the focus of all these uh, raids. Uh, some of the people that we managed to speak to who were raided actually said that the NIA took away uh, documents which, uh, uh, which, which are like uh, uh, bank statements, bank numbers. In fact, even mobile phones were taken away so a massive raid uh, in fact raids uh, as an operation was carried out as far as separatist leaders are concerned a lot of separatist leaders were raided but what is peculiar is that all of them are second rung leaders uh, in separatist parties like uh, uh, you know Mirwais's fa um, Mirwais's Hurriyat faction and Gilani's faction of Hurriyat conference none of the top leaders uh, have been questioned so far but the NIA is still carrying out its work. In fact, even as we speak, we're getting information that there could be more people which will be questioned. So a busy day uh, for NIA, also something that could uh, took uh, all the people in the valley by surprise, uh, the f figuring uh, out early in the morning. And the whole such a point is, for the longest time, despite knowing some of these devious secrets about these Hurriyat leaders, governments and investigative agencies did not act. It's only now that the action has been taken up, taken after this big India Today expose. That's what's caught everyone off guard. What will happen once and if Sayyid Ali Shah Gilani, Naeem Khan, Bitta Karate get arrested? Is that the end of the Hurriyat conference, these Hurriyat terrorists, especially those exposed by India Today, who've been playing this double game for a very long time? They have been exposed like never before. I want to introduce our guests joining us on this broadcast, Gaurav Bhatia, spokesperson of the BJP. Amit Kaul uh, is our most special guest because we made a promise to Amit that we will fight this battle. Amit Kaul, for those who don't know, is the son of, uh, of a family who were massacred by Bitta Karate, one of the three terrorists India today exposed. He saw it happen in front of his eyes. He's been living with the anger and the anguish of seeing Bitta Karate walk the streets of Srinagar every single day. So this is a story, this is very, very personal. The crusade for justice is very, very personal for Amit Kaul. Engineer Rashid is an independent MLA in Jammu and Kashmir. He's joining us on this broadcast and Shabnam Loan is with us as well. I want to go across first to Amit Kaul. Amit, we made you a promise that this is a story India today will continue to pursue till the time justice is done. One very significant step on the road to justice, FIRs being lodged against these Hurriyat terrorists and the fact that more raids will be carried out and after this FIR, the most likely next step is that of arrest.
Rahul, uh, again, I would like to congratulate, as I said earlier also, not for uh, expose, but yes, for that the hard work that you and your channel has taken off. That is going towards the right direction. And especially the raids that we have heard from the morning and in fact from the yesterday night. Or not only the raids for these, uh, the questioning that has happened, the raids at Srinagar, Delhi, Sonipat, whatever is happening. I think it's a big, big morale booster for all of you and for the entire country when we know what is happening and it will take us towards the right step. And yes, personally, if you ask me that what I feel about it, I think it's uh, something very appreciable, not for us as an individual, for the government of India, especially as Mr. Rajnath Singh said today that there's nothing to expose, they are already exposed. The NIA chief has also confirmed in terms of the money that has been recovered. So I think the... Me, Amit, I want to bring in right now one very, of the men who's leading this investigation. Been... Alok Mittal is the Inspector General of uh, the NIA. He's working very closely with the team that's leading this investigation. Mr. Mittal, on behalf of all our viewers watching you on India Today, many congratulations to the NIA. You're moving with a sense of speed and urgency, which is rather unprecedented. Never before has any investigation agency gone after the Hurriyat terrorists with the kind of purpose that we are seeing from the NIA, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh as uh, we have said earlier also that uh, we have been collecting uh, information intelligence with respect to the terror funding activities in Kashmir and the preliminary inquiry which we had registered. So we have now registered a formal FIR and today conducted searches, widespread searches, 14 locations in Srinagar, 7 locations in Delhi and 1 location in Haryana. And can you give us a sense of, I, I realize that naturally before a chart sheet you can't reveal too much about the investigation, but broadly speaking, you've been interrogating uh, the three Hurriyat terrorists India today, exposed Naeem Khan, Bitta Karate, Ghazi Baba. What have you been able to glean from them? How confident are you that the case that the NIA puts out will be a clincher, that you'll be able to nail these villains of the valley for good? Yeah, the subject matter of investigation is the entire chain of uh, terror funding. I mean, all the players who are behind the terror activities, the terror activities in the form of burning schools, pelting stones on security forces, damaging government establishment, government properties. So all the players who are behind the scene working, uh, they, they have been identified and we have conducted searches. The, that includes the financiers the Hawala operators and the people who are funding uh, these disruptive activities. Okay, and also, sir, uh, how soon do you think a chart sheet can be formed? How soon will this case get completed? And is it safe to say that after these FIRs arrest of some of the people against whom you've got a compelling case is the next logical step? Uh, yes, uh, the first step, of course, when you, I mean, that sets the investigation in motion is the registration of FIR which has already been done. Now searches have been done, searches have been conducted, uh, a lot of incriminating material in the form of documents, cash has been recovered. Now uh, we will examine, interrogate the suspects, the concerned persons and uh, we will follow the next step. I mean it will be difficult to set a time frame immediately but of course we will move with the speed. And this is truly, truly appreciable. Multiple teams of the NIA moving with great speed. Remember, the National Investigation Agency is India's premier anti-terror investigation agency. And they've moved with a lot of speed. They've moved with a lot of purpose. Finally, Mr. Mittal, before I let you go, you're saying that you've picked up incriminating documents, incriminating bank account details. And are you confident that on the basis of what you've been able to recover so far and the interrogations you've carried out, that the case that you will put out will be a case that will nail these Hurriyat terrorists and end this game that they've been playing for decades now? Yes, very much. Uh, we already have a lot of material on record and a uh, lot of information which we have already got and which is, which is of course, uh, uh, a part of investigation. And we are very confident, very sure that uh, we will uh, uh, make a very good case out of this investigation. I really appreciate you joining us. Alok Mat Mittal, Inspector General of the National Investigation Agency amongst the top officers of the NIA leading this investigation joining us to say that he is confident that the game that these Hurriyat terrorists have been playing, the game that India today has exposed, 
is a game that is about to end. They will land up. You heard him say it himself. They will land up where they belong inside a central prison. I want to go across now. Gaurav Bhatia, engineer Rashid, Shabnam Lol joining us on this broadcast. Gaurav, the BJP government moving with a lot of sense, speed and purpose here. Multiple raids questions were being asked by Amit, by others who joined us that India Today put out this expose. What's the Modi government going to do? I think the NIA raids simultaneously both in Delhi and in Srinagar answer that question to a great extent. No, uh, Rahul, I think it is a step in the right direction, a strong step by the NIA also shows the uh, will and intent of the central government. And I commend the NIA and I also commend the India Today channel and you for the kind of journalism that you have done because in all these investigations, every lead, every piece of evidence is very vital. And the tapes that were provided by India Today will definitely serve the purpose of nailing down these culprits and perpetrators of crime. Uh, the final destination would surely be when people like Mr. Amit Kaul, who have uh, gone through tormentation and pain of seeing his loved one being killed by people like Mr. Bitta Karate, and Mr. Bitta Karate is put behind bars, and he serves a life sentence or a death sentence, that would be justice done to uh, people like Mr. Amit Kaul. Having said that, I would say that in the last 10 days, the kind of resolve that the Indian Army and the NIA has shown, we actually destroyed a Pakistani post. Two militants were killed just yesterday. Last one week, we have killed 15 militants. And I think that is breaking the backbone of Pakistani sponsored terrorism and it will not stop here because this is just a beginning we have to ensure that these people are booked and are behind bars engineer Rashid the NIA inspector general telling us that they've recovered what he believes are incriminating documents the financial chain being established and it seems Sayyid Ali Shah Gilani will be questioned next a lot of these uh, Huria terrorists also likely to be arrested they'll end up very soon inside an indian central prison uh, first i take a strong exception of you calling huriyat leaders as terrorists gilani is not a terrorist you talked about yasin malik that he has killed air force men but tell me one thing if he, had, he is a murderer then why did manmohan singh as prime minister of india met yasin malik for god's sake don't try to mislead the nation. Yes, what NIA is doing, that's a part of investigation. Let them investigate. I am nobody to speak for who their facts will come out. But don't be under the confusion or illusion that you are getting, you will get away with the Kashmir issue. You, if Huria people are booked behind bars, Gilani has been in jail. He, has, he is today also in jail. He is in house arrest. Others, Yasin Malik is one day in and one day out. So I think it has nothing to do with it. It is not a Engineer Rashid, are you proud of the fact that you are an Indian? Yeah, you say that on national NIA television. Let NIA investigate. You are saying, why am I calling these uh, terrorists, terrorists? Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, tell me one let thing. Me, let me show you that one clip. We've got Bitta Karate <laughs> on camera. We've got Naeem Khan on camera, accepting they are being paid money to burn schools in Kashmir. The man yes. says so Naeem himself. Khan. Bitta Karate says he's killed so many people, he stopped counting. No, in and even more serious, Rahul, when Bitta Karate says he has killed 40 Indians. Absolutely. He's saying so himself. If you don't call a mass murderer, an acknowledged terrorist, sir, a terrorist, me, what do you call him? Bitta One Karate second, let me play that clip out for you, Bitta sir. Because you leader cannot get away moment. by saying that we should call them leaders, we should garland them. What okay. Manmohan Singh did, I don't care for. So do you condemn That doesn't what mean Mr. that a Bitta government Karate in the past done? made a mistake. That mistake will not be remedied show now. That clip also. I will show you that you clip. Let's run that clip. Here it is. Bitta Karate, by his own confession, accepting that he killed at least 20 pundits. आपने कितने लोगों की जाने ली? दया में कितने लोग मारे? यानी आपने इतने सारे लोग मार डाले कि आपको ये भी नहीं याद कि आपने कितने लोग मार डाले? दस बारह हम मारे होंगे। दस बारह की बीस। अब बीस ही लगा चुके बीस ही मारे हैं। There it is. Engineer Rashid Bitta Karate on India Today's cameras accepting he killed more than 20 people. What will you call him? You will call him Mahatma Gandhi, you will call him Mother Teresa Nelson Mandela or you will call him a terrorist? Allow me to say something. Allow me to say something. 
I am not with the killers, whether it is Beta Karate or whether it is some army officer. But tell me one thing, he was released by the courts. Didn't courts uh, go through his evidences? What no, were the courts doing? Justice N.D. Wani, and I've read that why bail order very carefully, says in no, the sir, order that let Bikta Karate the get bail away, order said that, that the this public case, the public did prosecutor not did evidence. not seriously pursue this case. This is written in the order that let Bitta Karate free because governments in the past made mistakes. It doesn't mean those mistakes will be repeated. We